way, tomorrow's New Year's. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. And we are, we came out to the, uh, we came out to these really cool cliffs here. And this is a known location for finding Plastropia fossils. A great place to find big fossilized seashells of several different species. We're here late in the day, about 2.30, and we're all in the shade, so. So if you walk on up and start looking, you'll see fragments of little fossils. There's a big brachiopod, platystrophia. I'll let you see what it looks like looking with me find these. Lots of fragments. Fragments. Broken pieces. But what we want are the whole ones. Oh my gosh! Look! Oh man, now this makes it all worth it. Look how big that is. Big old platystrophia. Yeah, needs to be cleaned up at home. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Keegan, where are you? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, he's got a big one locked into the rock. That's okay, we'll break, we'll break off the other end, Keegan. So you got your muddy boots. Got your goggles and a sledgehammer, chisel, in case you find anything really cool embedded in the rocks. And you bring your water containers, your sports drinks. There's one. This Ravna Squina. This is so much fun. I love, oh my gosh, I love finding Plasterophia. One of my favorite is Brachiopods. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. I get excited every time I find a good specimen. Oh. I started to find a lot. Oh, I love fossil hunting. Never gets old. It's 
like uh, finding seashells on the beach. I don't care what age you are, and I don't care how many times you've done it. Just the, just the thrill of finding them. Good job. I'm huh? starting to find the big. This we are in the layer where the big ones are. This is the big fat Platystrophia ponderosa layer. We're having some fun. See the crummy ones we give away to school kids, the partial ones, but the really nice ones we keep for our own collections, and we line them up from big to small to show how they've uh, the growth stages, the growth cycles, how, how big they get, and also you know the various species, and that's how your fossil collection grows over the years. Okay. This one's Herbatella. Hard to tell, but there you go. Nice big bryozoan. Nice little one. Oh, Herbatella. Show me. That's a little one. Okay. That's a nice one too. And also this one. Good one. And Okay, Keegan found, yes, but what? Calcite crystals inside the hollow of one of the seashells. The one inside, inside the uh, plastrophia. Partial hole. Well, that's partial too. Cephalopod. surprised us. You hear these stories all the time about little kids finding the four, the big trilobites. Oh man, look at that. Oh. Here's my thumb. That's a big part of an isotel trilobite. Okay. Hold it up, Connor. Hold on to the edge. Oh. Connor's find of the day. Partial isotelus. This is the middle section, and this is the tail. The fact that it's this big, even if it's a partial one, it's a still a good find. Can I 
This is Ohio State Fossil.